Back in August, Mayor Tim Keller predicted it would happen. We do expect these trends to continue. And I do expect, unfortunately, Albuquerque to break 100 this fall. 2021 was a record-breaking year for homicides in Albuquerque with 114. The first homicide happened on January 8th and the last December 31st. Early on in the year, Chief Medina said many of the homicides were tied to drugs. We're seeing a huge increase in what we call there's a drug nexus. Uh, we're seeing uh, trends in, in uh, robberies. Uh, that are related to uh, narcotics. One murder possibly connected to drugs happened on March 5th when four dead bodies were found inside a car at the Albuquerque International Sunport. 47-year-old Sean Lannon was eventually charged with the murders, which included that of his own wife. He was arrested shortly after police found he allegedly killed a man in New Jersey. Our detectives, I can say at this point, when they were out there in New Jersey, did learn that Mr. Lannon claimed to have killed an additional 11 people um, in the Grants or Cibola County area. Lannon claimed at a court hearing the 11 other New Mexicans he killed were drug dealers, but not all homicides were connected to drugs. We look across the field and we see him just laying on the ground and the officer was running over there. On August 13th, Benny Hargrove, a 13-year-old student at Washington Middle School, was shot and killed by a fellow classmate, Juan Salcedo Jr., after Hargrove reportedly confronted him about bullying his friends. I think as a parent, this is the worst nightmare, and I'm just glad that my kids are okay, and I'm praying for whoever's child was shot. And on Halloween weekend, something that looked like a horror movie happened. Is the person with the gun still here? A Halloween party turned deadly when a group of guys in hoodies and masks opened fire at the party, killing two and wounding two others. 30-year-old male, unconscious, not breathing, second individual, 278. With a fresh start in 2022, Police Chief Harold Medina says after a very violent year, it's time the courts hold repeat violent offenders accountable so they don't continue to terrorize the streets. And I think court leadership from the very bottom all the way to the top, needs to listen to what the people in Albuquerque want. They want us to be tough on violent criminals, and they want violent criminals to stay in jail.